favourite structural engineers is called Fazlur Khan. So he was born and brought up in Bangladesh and then moved over to the US to design skyscrapers and it's really because of him that we can build the super tall skyscrapers that we can today. So skyscrapers normally need to be kept stable against the wind and the way we do this is to use an internal spine or core within the building and that's very similar to our backbone which you know if somebody tries to push me over right now my spine is going to try and keep me stable. But Fasal Khan came up with a system that was more like an exoskeleton so if you think about a turtle for example that has a shell on the outside that's what keeps the turtle safe and strong. So he created this system where the stability system was taken from the inside of a structure to the outside of the structure. And the best way I can think of describing this is if you like skiing, uh, like me, I've done it once and I was awful at it, but when I started skiing they wouldn't let me use any poles so all I had was my own feet to keep me stable. But once I could actually stand and ski a little bit more, I was then allowed to use the poles. And the point is that you've now taken the stability away from you, so the further it is away from your body, the more stable it becomes. So that's one way of doing it, is to put the big structure on the outside. And another way is using a straw analogy, which is to bunch up lots of different individual towers to make a stronger tower. So if you think about one straw on its own, it's actually quite bendy and it's quite flexible, but if you then bunch together quite a few and then you try and bend it, it's much, much stronger. So now if I try, um, and this might not be a great demonstration, but you might be able to guess which skyscraper I'm trying to make here. I'm just going to pull some of the tubes through, try and make it a bit taller, and then of course by now you can recognise that this is the Burj Khalifa. So the Burj Khalifa works by this system where there's lots of different individual tubes essentially bunched together and that's how you could make a really tall building.